Mercedes-Benz is one of the most well-known names in the world of luxury automobiles. The German vehicle firm, now owned by Daimler-Benz and located in Stuttgart, Germany, has been operational for more than a century. Mercedes-Benz has a long history in the automobile industry marked by innovation, evolution, and motorsports. The company has always been at the center of the car-making world, from the first automobile through modern-day achievements. Great brands are typically the result of great people. This is especially true for Mercedes-Benz. The life work of two great inventors, Carl Benz and Gottlieb Daimler, has resulted in a brand that has come to symbolize elegance, class, and quality. Since every great superhero has a tale to tell, Mercedes-Benz is no different. Carl Benz was born on November 25, 1844 in Malberg, today known as the municipality of Karlsruhe, Baden-Württemberg. His full name is Karl Friedrichs Michael Weiland. Carl was born to Josephine Weiland, a train driver, and Johann George Benz, a locomotive engineer. The child was given the name Benz by his parents' legal marriage, according to German law. Carl's father, Johann George Benz, died of pneumonia when he was just two years old. Despite their poverty, Josephine wanted him to have a good education, so he attended the local grammar school in Karlsruhe. Carl Benz was an exceptional student. After finishing school, he attended the Polytechnical University, where he obtained a great deal of practical experience under Ferdinand Redenbacher the father of science-based mechanical engineering. Carl Benz began his education with an initial focus on locksmithing. He eventually changed his mind and began following in his father's footsteps into locomotive engineering. He passed the engineering entrance exam at the age of 15 in 1860 and was accepted into the University of Karlsruhe's mechanical engineering program. Carl received his diploma in 1864. Benz had nine years of practical experience after completing his official schooling at several mechanical engineering firms. He didn't fit in any of them, which was both unfortunate and lucky. Unfortunate in the sense that it was not ideal for him, and fortunate and lucky in the sense that it was ideal for the world. Carl Benz then relocated to Mannheim, where he began working as a scale industrial design engineer and architect. In 1868, he joined a bridge building enterprise. He soon relocated to Vienna and briefly worked for an iron building firm. Carl Benz was unable to settle into any of the professions he tried, owing to a lack of interest. But one thing about which Carl was sure of was that he loved riding his bicycle and wished to build horseless carriages. Carl Benz realized that he couldn't blend in as an employee after seven years and that he was born to be a businessman. Carl Benz, then 27 years old, joined August Rattler in establishing the Iron Foundry and Mechanical Factory in Mannheim. However, it was not a huge success at first, and it was only Ben's wife Bertha Ringer's dowry that prevented them from being bankrupt right away. In 1878, he began building a two-stroke engine in the early factory he and his wife owned, and for the first time, it was a success. Carl then completed the creation of a two-stroke petrol engine in 1879, he was also granted a patent for this invention in 1880. Carl's lifetime enthusiasm led him to Max Rose and Friedrich Wilhelm's bicycle repair shop in Mannheim. In 1883, these two businessmen teamed together with Benz to form the company Benz and Companies, often known as Benz and C. The business grew rapidly, and they were also able to get licenses for the manufacture of gas engines. In 1885, Carl launched his first vehicle, a motorized tricycle which was highly innovative due to its usage of a gasoline-powered internal combustion engine. Self-propelled vehicles with steam engines had been invented earlier in the century, but the internal combustion engine was a significant step forward for automobiles. It allowed for a vehicle to be powered in a more compact, lighter, and efficient manner. The internal combustion engine was what turned Benz's car into a truly practical and appealing consumer item. As a result, Many people believe that Benz's powered tricycle from 1885 was the first automobile. The first commercially produced and patented modern automobile was the Benz Patent Motorwagen. Made on three wheels, a steel tube frame and plywood panels all comprised this vehicle. This car was incredibly basic, with a tilt steering wheel rather than a steering wheel. 
A gasoline engine drove the Benz Patton Motorwagen, which had no gears and could reach a top speed of 7 miles per hour. This vehicle's suspension was also lacking. The Benz Patton Motorwagen was not designed to travel uphill, and climbing a hill needed a person to push it from behind. Many people despised the Benz Patton Motorwagen because it made terrible noises and bad smells while driving. The mayor of the municipality initially prohibited this vehicle from traveling on the main streets. Any accidents caused by this car were held accountable to Carl Benz. All of these limitations saddened him considerably. Bertha Benz, Carl Benz's wife, had a crucial part in the success of Mercedes-Benz. She was in charge of financing and marketing the autos. Bertha Benz made the first ever road trip in this car to sell it and introduce it to the general public. Bertha Benz started the excursion by taking the car out of the garage without her husband's knowledge. Bertha Benz and her two boys, ages 13 and 15, drove the car from Mannheim to Flüschheim, a distance of 130 miles. She wanted to demonstrate the vehicle's utility and usage. The tour's completion was a significant success because it demonstrated the car's ability to travel large distances. This road excursion drew national notice to their vehicle. The people were unaware of the car because it was a new invention. As a result, when people saw the automobile running on the road without any horses, they became scared, and some even believed the car was possessed by a devil. Another reason people despised vehicles was that they had seen steam cars explode and assumed that these petrol cars would as well. Bertha Benz attempted to overcome the real-world challenges that the car encountered on the journey. When her brakes began to fail, she enlisted the help of a cobbler to place leather on the brakes. With the help of her hat pin, she cleaned the clogged gasoline line. As a result, the world's first set of brake pads was created. With the addition of a second gear, a larger three-horsepower engine, and stronger brakes and springs, Benz proceeded to refine his concept. After being presented at the Paris exhibition earlier in the year, the first Benz vehicle was sold in 1887. In 1888, Benz received a gold medal for his invention at the Munich Imperial Exhibition. This recognition resulted in a flood of orders for the vehicle, which was still a luxury that could only be afforded by the wealthy at the time. Nonetheless, business was so strong that by 1889, the Benz company had grown to 50 employees and had relocated to a larger plant, where a new four-wheeled model was introduced in 1890. Benz, unlike other automotive inventors, did not believe that a car had to look like a traditional four-wheeled carriage. He became even more hesitant to alterations in his design after the 1890 model. His views were so strong that even after a major redesign of the Benz automobile in 1905, the company continued to sell older models. Gottlieb Daimler, a fellow German, was a major rival to Benz's claim to be the creator of the motor vehicle. Daimler had developed and patented a superior internal combustion engine five months ahead of Benz. However, the first vehicle in which he exhibited his abilities was a bicycle, which led to the creation of the first motorbike. However, Benz and Daimler had never actually met, despite their shared professional interests. Daimler soon died in 1900, long before the new car was given the Mercedes name. Mercedes, the company's brand name, was inspired by an 11-year-old girl named Mercedes. Emil Jelinek, her father, was a politician, entrepreneur, and racing enthusiast who later ordered 36 vehicles from Daimler. Emil Jelinek appreciated Daimler automobiles so much that he finally became a member of the Daimler Board of Directors. In the year 1901, he demanded a new sort of car model, which he wished to call Mercedes after his daughter, Mercedes. Emil Jelinek bought these automobiles in 1901, and he used them to win nearly all of his racing competitions. As a result, Mercedes-Benz automobiles became extremely popular, and the Daimler company chose to brand all of their automobiles with the Mercedes moniker, which they eventually trademarked in 1902. During the post-World War I economic crisis, both the Daimler and Benz's companies experienced a decline. In 1926, the companies united to establish Mercedes-Benz in order to increase their chances of survival. Benz was, at that time, no longer involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the company. 
although he continued to be honored for his achievements as an automobile pioneer. His automobiles were acquired by museums, and in 1929 he was honored with a unique procession of hundreds of automobiles from Heidelberg to Leidenberg. A lot of notable persons spoke in his praise at the time, proclaiming him the inventor of the automobile. Benz died two days later on April 4, 1929 at his Ladenburg residence. Benz is known for his imaginative genius and breakthrough efforts in creating and marketing the first commercial automobile, despite the fact that succeeding automotive innovators such as Henry Ford converted the car into a more successful product for the general public. The AMG line of Mercedes was created in 1967 by two former Mercedes-Benz engineers. Alfred Melker Grossaspach would be the company's surname. The AMG Hammer, which was based on the Mercedes E-Class and became a cult phenomena because of its 360 horsepower 5.6 liter V8 engine, was one of its most famous models at the time. To this date, Mercedes AMG produces high performance variants of almost all Mercedes models, as well as certain customized vehicles. Some of the most famous highlights from the AMG collection include Mercedes AMG 845, Mercedes AMG GLC 63, Mercedes AMG E63, Mercedes AMG G63, and the Mercedes AMG GT four door. Adolf Hitler, who used armored Mercedes vehicles in the 1930s, also made the company hugely famous. They were well known during the Nazi era in Germany, and their popularity has remained strong thanks to their out of the ordinary client base. For the first time, Mercedes-Benz introduced an autonomous system in the S-Class W140 in 1995. Powered by millions of microprocessors and capable of traveling over a thousand miles at 115 miles per hour without the driver having to do much, the car was equivalent to a supercomputer. This is also one of the reasons why Mercedes-Benz is considered the safest driving technology. Mercedes-Benz has been associated with quality, class, cutting-edge engineering, and sheer brilliance ever since, and is widely regarded as one of the top automakers in the world. Today, the company manufactures luxury cars, buses, lorries, and coaches. They have introduced a number of cars in the previous and recent years that have wowed the globe with their beauty as well as their performance. We've compiled a list of the 10 best Mercedes-Benz automobiles here. Number 10. 1979 Mercedes-Benz Geländewagen, G-Class. G-Wagon was another name for this vehicle. It boasts one of the most powerful engines and a tough body, making it suitable for off-roading. Number 9. 2004 CLS Mercedes-Benz. With an aerodynamic shape, this car had one of the best designs. It was extremely light and quick. The initial unit's basic weight was 1,730 kilograms. Number 8. 1963 Mercedes-Benz 600 Pullman. The Mercedes-Benz 600 Pullman, introduced in 1963, was one of the most opulent modern automobiles available at the time. Many celebrities chose this car, and it was lauded for its best characteristics. Number 7. 2011 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. This car was first introduced in 2011 as a two-seater. Its doors unfold like the wings of a butterfly. Number 6, 1983 Mercedes-Benz 190E Cosworth. This vehicle was a high luxury vehicle at the time. This car has 183 horsepower and a top speed of 230 kilometers per hour. Number 5, 1937 Mercedes-Benz 540K Special. This was a limited edition vehicle. This car's interior was incredibly beautiful and opulent. It came with a straight 5401 CC8 engine. Number 4, Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG 2010. The Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG was a four-door, five-seater super luxury automobile that was introduced in 2010. This vehicle had the fastest acceleration time, going from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. Number 3, 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. This car featured a stunning exterior design that gave it a sporty appearance. It also had butterfly wings that functioned as doors. Number two, Mercedes-Benz C111, 1970. In terms of design, interior, and engine performance, this is Mercedes's second best automobile ever. A 2.4 liter four rotor engine with 345 horsepower was installed in this vehicle. And number one, 
the 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Racer. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Racer is the best Mercedes-Benz car in the world, according to Mercedes-Benz. Because of its aerodynamic design and 2.5 liter straight eight engine, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Racer could reach a top speed of 290 kilometers an hour. This engine had the potential to produce 310 horsepower. Mercedes-Benz has also won several races and awards with this car. The best or nothing, as the Mercedes motto implies, could not be more true. Benz's Mercedes-Benz automobiles are famed for their limousines, which have been featured in numerous films and are also used by diplomats. The road ahead for Mercedes-Benz is clear and bright. Let's now bring some light on some of the interesting facts about Mercedes-Benz. Emil Jelinek changed his name to Jelinek Mercedes in 1903, claiming that it was possible the first time a father had taken his daughter's name. Friedrich Greiner, a transport operator in Stuttgart, ordered a Daimler car with a taxi meter in 1896 to start a motor car transport service. Daimler thus set the groundwork for the world's first motorized taxi service. DMG introduced the first automobile with a front-mounted engine in 1897. One of the world's first hybrids was the Mercedes Mixed, which debuted in the early 1900s. Benz's OB2 was the world's first diesel truck. In 1909, Benz's Lightning breached the 200 km per hour speed barrier. The Mercedes-Benz Museum houses a collection of over 550 automobiles, including both Mercedes-Benz and parent brand automobiles. Carl Benz had the first ever driver's license. The first car in the country of Nepal was a Mercedes-Benz, given to its king in 1940. The logo of the company represents air, land, and water. The company thought about adding a fourth point to the star to represent space, but decided not to. Pope Benedict XVI's Pope Mobile, yes, that's the real name, was a Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz vehicles are manufactured in 30 countries around the world. So, that was the interesting story of Carl Benz. Hope you liked the video. If you want to listen to more such motivating and eye-opening stories of hard work and persistence, well, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.